Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here, bringing us a video here today, bringing us six Photoshop problems that you'll run into and how to fix them. Um, that title, hopefully, I swear if I don't find something better than say that, if my title is still that, at least like the video to help the algorithm because the title's trash. But basically, this is basically six or so tips or problems in this case that I basically Googled uh, over the course of years from being a beginner to a novice to an expert, etc. And things that I think you're gonna run into for absolute sure. Like if you are a beginner and watching this video, this video is literally absolute gold and I swear it. I promise you, you guys will enjoy it. Um, even if you're not, the first tip I tweeted out um, like a couple weeks ago just to kind of like, you know, see if this video is even like a thing that I need to do. 2,000 likes. None of you guys even knew about it, so hopefully the first tip will at least give you guys some love and some, uh, some how do you say, just insight. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Enjoy the video here today, and uh, that's it. Enjoy. All right, so we're actually going to start off with a game changer here. If you guys ever use the eraser or a brush, you guys might notice your brush has super ragged edges while using it. This is actually due to your brush settings being off, not the actual brush itself. All you guys have to do is go to your brush settings, which is located either on the right-hand side, which is this icon right here, or if you guys have the brush as your active tool, you can click right here and bring it up as well. Now, all you guys have to do is go to where it says spacing and set that to 1%. And with that, now your brush will have no jagged lines at all. So this next one is about text. How many of you guys have this issue? You go to click the text tool to actually write something out and then all these random letters and symbols just pop up and when you go to type, you have to press the escape button like 40 times. Yeah, that's that was me for like maybe like at least four months. Now, to get rid of it, all you guys have to do is jump to the edit dropdown on the top left, choose preferences, then choose type, then unselect the box enable type layer glyphs. Now you guys want to basically restart your Photoshop and every time you go to type now, the glyphs will no longer actually pop up and annoy you and ruin your workflow. You're welcome. Okay, so next I think a lot of you guys who use the pen tool a lot will run into this issue every now and again. Now, let me ask this, if you guys have ever made a pen tool path and went to fill it in with color with like the right click, fill, and then you choose color, then all of a sudden it fills everywhere but the actual selection you made? Honestly, to me, it's probably one of the most annoying things when navigating the actual pen tool, especially as beginners. So basically what happens is sometimes Photoshop resets its default pen tool settings. So if you guys were to go to the icon to the right of the shape settings, you might actually notice that your settings are on subtract shape. Simply change the setting to combine shapes. Now when you go to fill, it will actually fill exactly where you pen tool and not outside of it. Ta-da, you see? Okay, so we're back at the brush for this one. Sometimes when using your brush, everything is perfect and you're vibing and all of a sudden you're pressing a few shortcut keys and then you notice your brush is like super low opacity. However, when you check your layer, your opacity is still at 100%. You guys ever had that happen? One thing that people honestly overlook a lot is the top left brush settings which also has its own separate opacity settings. When you're using number keys accidentally or purposefully, Photoshop uses numbers as a shortcut to quickly apply a certain opacity to the actual brush. So if I were to press 44 on my keyboard, my opacity will actually end up being 44, or 56, 76, etc. whatever you guys actually type in. So all you guys have to do is change this back to 100% when you see things go wrong, and now you're good to go. All right, now this next tip is for my people with very blurry or pixelated text. If you guys are in Photoshop and you're writing stuff out in a font that you maybe just downloaded, or even something you can check and look at right now because you might not notice that your font characters are super messed up. If you guys open up the characters table under Windows Characters, it'll show a table of settings that you can use for your text. Here though, the last setting option, you want to change this from none to sharp or anything that makes the characters feel and look a lot smoother. This can also help in getting really distorted text when designing in small type, something I'm pretty positive you guys will definitely run into. And I'm gonna just throw this in here too. If you can't see your brush, just use cap locks. By the way, like if you hate the crosshair thing, you have cap locks on. And with that being said, friends, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys can take this and just at least run with it. And if you find these problems, now you know what video to come to to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any cool like tips or whatever for beginners, novices, expect, uh, experts, whatever, um, let me let me know in the comments below. Let other people know as well. Let other people know as well, excuse me. And uh, maybe we can just have a little conversation down there. But with that being said, of course, if you guys like the video, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SoHQ. And uh, as always, guys, so, so HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I love you guys so very much, and enjoy your weekend. Peace.